paint, as you can see, it's dry now, but uh, it's not completely dry. It hasn't turned colors. Now it's sort of a gray-white, and you'll want to continue to dry this in turns in, until it turns into a white-white, uh, and it'll look frothy. It'll look dry. All right, it's ready for soldering. So what I'll do is I'll pull this a lot of the bench here a little bit. Okay. What we'll do is we'll dim the light so we get a nice view of the metal as we solder it. Um, I had a pick here somewhere. Here it is. Pick, and uh, we're going to want to make a flame with a little more heat. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll heat the item from the bottom. The melt, the uh, solder will melt. I'll bring it up, I'll flash the uh, the bezel, and the liquid solder will then run to the bezel. Once I get a liquid solder line all the way around the bezel, it take off the heat, you're done. Uh, I'll flash it a little bit just to make sure that all the water is out of it, and then we'll go right into the soldering. Okay, here we go. Trick here is to keep your torch moving. Okay, all the solders. Well, there we go. that's that. And we'll take this, we'll take this and drop it in the acid. All right, we're going to uh, get the uh, pieces out of the acid. Make sure you use copper whenever you put sterling silver in acid or take it out of acid. I like to shake them off as best I can, immediately crunch them in water, let go of it, spin it some more, and that should get all the acid off of it. Okay, those pieces are pretty cleaned up. We can turn our acid crock pot off, and we'll take these pieces to the bench. All right, uh, we've gotten the thing out of the acid, and it's pretty clean. Um, I've cleaned up the back with some 400 uh, grit sandpaper. I've taken a uh, small steel brush and cleaned up a little bit inside. And just needs a bit more. You want to get all the uh, flux, the sand, out of these things. Otherwise, what will happen is uh, later you'll get oxidation on the silver. But the acid does 99% of the work. And then what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and take a pair of uh, heavy-duty scissors.